What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will and I'm here in Key West. You all know this guy. Oh. <laughs> Name of the game today is catch bait and then hopefully a grouper. And if you're familiar with the channel, you already know what I am keeping from that grouper will be the head and collar. So we're gonna do something kind of familiar but kind of cool. So hopefully we're not we, gonna catch anything. What? No. You we're gonna your shot like that. I said the name of the game is hopefully. <laughs> I did not say definitely. I said hopefully. Pizza, but we're <laughs> hey, I like pizza too. Um, but listen, I can work with whatever we catch, so we're making something. But uh, right now we're we're catching bait. That's the number one uh, number one goal right now, which that we will do. One way or another. <laughs> Definitely not bait. <laughs> Track her off. Could be. We're Goliath grouper fishing. Uh, put him back. Small Jack Revolve. Fighting big ones of these is really fun. But these little guys are just a nuisance. Just tearing up that line. Yeah, the line's destroyed. So this is too funny. So Aaron just landed on the bait. He's got a couple up using uh, Sabiki rigs. I don't know if you can see them in there. They're called Thread Herring. When he pulls another one up, I'll get a close up of it. But what's funny is that in New York during the winter, I, we run from dock to dock trying to chase these things to eat them. I mean, other guys use them as a uh, striper bait, um, bluefish bait, but a lot of people set out to eat these guys. And uh, here you just bring them up, no problem. It is really funny the, the difference between New York and Key West and what fish are considered prize and what are just throwaway bait. Oh. Not a Crevel, but a mutton. <laughs> Unfortunately, not a legal mutton. All right, the nose. <laughs> That's funny. They are so pretty. I know. I wish they tasted better. <laughs> What do we got? Hey, what did I just say? Yellow jack. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. I could go for another one of those farms. I, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not upset about it. <laughs> Let's go. Sweet little, little yellow jack. We're still looking for that grouper, but at least we got sashimi. Apparently, apparently I should be digging. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's, like, there's all this life here. You can tell me there's not one down there. I'm hoping this is the rainbow runner that I lost. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's a, it's a shark somehow on this tiny jig on 20 pound test. You ready? Look at this. Oh, it's following it. Yes, okay. I was like, how do I have a shark on it? God, these guys are tough. The Jack Master. Oh, there's a shark right there. No. <laughs> Big lemon. No, swim away, swim away. <laughs> well, maybe that's why I can't hook a grouper. <laughs> He's right here. Literally under the boat. Just hanging out. Lemon is awfully hungry. That might be why that rainbow came up so fast. Oh, there he is. That is no small shark. Okay. <laughs> well, a 
Apparently, I did jinx us. I didn't mean to, but I did. We did not get a grouper. We've moved on to slow trolling a couple of uh, uh, blue runners or bar jacks uh, to try to go for king mackerel or maybe a wahoo. It's a late Hail Mary plan. But I do have that yellow jack. Um, you guys really liked the, uh, the yellow jack chicken parm episode, so I'm going to keep in that vein, but we're going to make meatball sliders. So I will see you back at the house. So as you saw, I have that yellow jack and a yellow tail. The yellow tail I caught off camera. Um, they were both a little bit on the small side, so I'm gonna do it with both. And I've done this before with a uh, grouper in the Bahamas. I'm gonna put that video at the end of this video and you can go back and watch that one. I did spaghetti and meatballs. But uh, so first things first, let's get started. We're gonna make a really, really, really simple marinara sauce to finish our meatballs in and put on the sandwich. All right, so got my pan over there on what I think is medium heat. A little, a little hard to tell with this uh, camping stove, but let's see. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, two cloves of garlic. And we're only gonna do half an onion because I'm saving the other half to go into our meatballs themselves. All right, all of that into our pan. And the garlic. Now inside that, just a little bit of garlic salt, some red pepper flakes, a little bit of oregano. So I'm not gonna take any color on that. I'm just sweating them down. And then here I just have uh, crushed tomatoes, nothing added, no salt, no basil, none of that. And we're about ready to put that in. All right, we're gonna let that cook down. As that's cooking down, we're gonna get everything together and make our meatballs. All right, so with our fish, we are just going to chop it with a sharp knife as fine as we can. And I mean fine. You could put it in a food processor, but I kind of like doing it this way. Food processor just turns it into absolute mush. Might take a little bit longer this way, but I like the result better. Once you have it chopped down almost to the texture of ground beef, it is ready to go. Into our mixing bowl. All right, I'm gonna work my way through the rest of these fillets and I'll see you back at the mixing bowl. All right, we got our fish nice and minced up. Perfect consistency. That other half of uh, onion, dice that up nice and fine. All right, so now add a little bit of Worcestershire, some mayo, salt, paprika, a little bit of cumin. 
coriander, some breadcrumbs. That'll help as a binding agent to stick everything together. And then two beaten eggs. And you want to add your breadcrumbs until it gets a little bit stiff. So this you are fully going by feel. You want it to feel exactly like ground beef, ground turkey, that consistency, which now we're getting there. And form our little meatballs. Put those aside and now it's okay if they slump a little bit if they're too stiff you're probably going to end up with a dry meatball a little bit of a slump is a good thing and now when i get these all rolled i'm going to put them in the fridge for no less than 15 20 minutes that way they can firm up so when we fry them and then throw them in the sauce they'll stay together all right with these all rolled going into the fridge 20 minutes, we'll see you back here. All right, I got my skillet ripping hot, if you can't tell. So I got smoke coming off of that, which is what I want. I got my meatballs here, nice and cooled down, and now we're gonna put them in here, put a sear on them. And then they're gonna go from here into our sauce, which is simmering. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. That's gonna give a nice crunch and a wonderful texture. These smell absolutely amazing already. All right. These guys back here, they're ready to go into the sauce. Oh, yes. guy is going in looking beautiful and into our sauce now we're gonna let those simmer for about I don't know maybe like 10 minutes um, they were completely cooled down so I want them to come up to temp just cook through and then we'll plate up our sandwiches <laughs> Wait, I feel like I'm on a therapy couch. That's kind of what I was feeling like, because we're like so close. It's like pull the top off of that for a second. Dude, this thing. We're in the, we're in the sexy. We're in the a little, a little fresh pepper. Oh, I didn't see much come out. I want more pepper than that. Wow. There you go. There you go. There now you this go. is a sandwich. Wait, put your knee down. A little this bit does feel like therapy. <laughs> so, are we in the, the tree of trust? <laughs> yep. <laughs> good. Okay. Good luck eating those. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I Wait, see, I gotta eat the whole thing? I can see the bite right here. Oh, yeah. Wait, is one of these yours? <laughs> no. Oh. Eat them, eat them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, let me see the inside of mm. it. I wish I got two plates. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that tastes like a legit meatball. Like, straight up. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Hold on, what is this made with? Uh, yellow Jack and Yellow Tail. Oh my god. Wow. And, <laughs> and the love. sauce. And love. And love. And it legit sauce. tastes like chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm, like a chicken meatball. <laughs> like literally it tastes like chicken. <laughs> All right. There I'm... is no fishiness in that. No. No. Well, it's also yellow jack and yellowtail. It's pretty. But still, it's fish. But... All right. So, I mean, to me, that also proves if someone says, oh, I don't like this fish. You just haven't had it made right. <laughs> I could make anything. Literally. 
and have you like it. Um, Seriously. See, I'm going to keep going back to the Iron Chef. That should have been what I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Would have crushed. Oh, my God. This is That's insane. impressive. This is amazing. All right, guys. So we didn't get our targeted species, but hey, nice consolation prize. We're going to sit down and eat. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on the adventure. Sorry for jinxing the grouper. And uh, this is a good, good second one. Exactly. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one.